point you are seeing. There are countries, you see, oh, this is the traffic, you know, so you can visualize the data visualization. And the data.gov, uh, data this is one of the US initiative. They have, uh, that's an open data initiative where you can see what is happening. And there are a lot of initiatives that are happening across the world on this particular data. Once you have that one, then you can decide how this particular data can be utilized for my environment, for my university, or for my project, or for my anything. Please, second. So we are talking about, this is the last slide, collection of the data, how you are collecting the data, what you are collecting the data, the data it is very much important, from where you are collecting the data, because what happens, because you, it's not just about collecting the data, let's say I have an Oracle environment, I have an SAP environment, I have a Microsoft environment. All they have their own latency because it has its own throughput and it has its own architecture and your application itself, it, it has its own you know, uh, constraints. So when you are collecting the data, you have to collect in a way that you are trying to standardize. So when you have a, a first cycle of collection, you make sure that one cycle has, you know, it has completed uh, in, a, in a way where you have all the data which is required for you to go to the other process of processing where you are actually processing the data you are you will be able to then you will be able to manage the data and then once you man, once you are able to man, manage the data once you manage once you are managing you have to measure how I am actually doing it at the time before you actually go to the consumption before I consume, I need to make sure that this is a healthy food, as an example. So I cannot take it, whatever is cooked, I cannot just go and, you know, you take a first bite and you take little and you make sure that it is good and it can be consumable. Once you consume, once you are able to consume, then you are storing the data, then you are transforming the data. Transforming means from one phase of that data repository, you are transforming to a staging area, to a place where you have an integrated data available as part of your data warehouse so that it can be corporatized. Corporatized means it is it can be used by your organization or for a specific project. And the whole thing is continuous. So there is no one-stop shop. It is the process is always continuous. So the governance has to happen. I think I will not talk on this. So please here. So, uh, uh, as a quick uh, recap, whenever we are doing all those activities, whether it's about the big data or cloud or as a, we need to sh be sure not only we satisfy the project requirement, but also we, de we develop that particular solution or design that particular solution in a way which will have a compliance, a compliance and agreement from your, from your internal stakeholders from your internal resources, but also there has to be a global authority. There is a global authority which is called we call GAP for the financial compliances. You have designed and developed a system which is used by the financial people, so financial authorities. So that is the GAP. I just like put over there are ISO standard or we call it a service level agreement. Then we have committed to the, our customer that this is what I'm going to deliver the service at this particular cost at this particular time. That's one of the SLA and then we are talking about the governance where you have a specific policy. Policy of information sharing, policy uh, and procedures and controls. If you have, uh, I'm not sure whether you have been exposed to the auditors. Auditors, they always uh, measure uh, your organizational performance and the data through their controls. They have a defined controls. They see that you are following, how much you are following that particular control. And then there is a risk management where you have to make sure that what are the threats, what are the intrusions, hacking, vulnerabilities, how you are applying those patches, how you are, uh, you know, closing those, uh, um, uh, what you call, uh, ports and protocols and what is the frequency, what is the mechanism you have kept in place, this, that is what important. Availability of the infrastructure, information and application is very much important. Integrity, integrity of data and integrity of the systems, integrity of the platforms 
and integration of several discrete components you need to make sure as a, a data architect as a solution architect as an infrastructure architect where the confidentiality and privacy it is the major concern of today so security it has its own uh, um, importance you can also adopt a security uh, consultant track where the security was a concern security is a concern and security will remain a concern the only thing what we can do we need to make sure we understand those uh, business uh, patterns technological patterns and then we need to see how we can mitigate those uh, you know, security uh, known security stuff and we need to see how we can bounce back i would like to say thank you for uh, giving me the privilege to address you and thanks for your attention and focus Some feature forms, so please fill it.